In 1821, German physicist Thomas mm -hmm. Johann Seebeck observed that when a junction of two dissimilar alloys is heated at one end, an electric current will flow through the circuit. With the magnitude and the direction of the current being determined by the temperature difference in the two ends and the thermal properties of the alloys used, this phenomena is known as the thermoelectric effect, also called the Seebeck effect. Unbeknownst to him at the time, Seebeck had essentially made the very first thermocouple. Wunderbar. Today, thermocouples are available in many different combinations of alloys and calibrations. That's a lot of alloys. A thermocouple's alloy combination, which in turn dictates its temperature range, is designated by a letter code, the most common being the base metal thermocouples known as types J, K, T, E, and N. And just to keep us all on our toes, these letter designations can correspond to two different color code standards. In North America, the American National Standards Institute or ANSI color code is used, while the rest of the world recognizes the International Electrotechnical Commission standard, or IEC, as the standard color code. To identify which color code a thermocouple is compliant with, look no further than the negative lead wire. On an ANSI-coded thermocouple, the negative lead wire will be red, while on an IEC-coded thermocouple, the negative lead wire will be white. If the thermocouple has both red and white wires, it will be the ANSI code for J-type. Once you've identified which color code your thermocouple is compliant with, ANSI or IEC, you can then identify the thermocouple's type or alloy combination, thus identifying its calibrated temperature range. Easy peasy. So there you have it. For a full listing of ANSI and IEC color codes and their specs, follow the link below. Thanks for watching and be sure to like and subscribe.